back, YouTube family. We're back in the kitchen. We're getting this finished up. I'm doing something that last time I did, I ended up going to the hospital. So <laughs> <laughs> you at least ran to get the camera. Two hospital trips this year. Yeah, we're gonna be careful with the X-Acto knife today. What we're doing is we are taking out the flooring where the tile is going to go underneath the wood stove. Because this floor clicks together, it made more sense to just do the flooring all the way across till we got to that point. We wanted to get the flooring in and we knew that we needed to add tile to the fireplace, but we didn't know how far we were actually gonna come out. So we couldn't live another day without having the flooring down yeah. in the kitchen. So we decided to do one full cell and then worry about cutting later. And it shouldn't be that difficult. It's just an X-Acto knife cut, trip to the hospital and it's done. <laughs> We also didn't want the flooring to shift like we would have done the flooring and then just left out this section where we thought tile was gonna go The flooring wouldn't have stayed put and we kind of have to use this room in the meantime of building One of the things that has been I'm gonna say struggle, but not really a struggle, but just more of an inconvenience is Living through the renovation because our house didn't have a kitchen So having no kitchen meant that as we were building the kitchen We've had to use the bits and pieces of the kitchen that we build as we go yeah, <laughs> as holy... opposed to like some people have an original kitchen already in their house. Yeah. We had no kitchen. <laughs> I know, like big or small, you can get away with even having, we've had small kitchens in our apartments over the years that we got away with quite fine, but no kitchen? Like this house literally had zero kitchen, not one aspect of the kitchen. There's not even any outlets for kitchen. Like, I don't know where the people, well, I do know where the people ate before us. They ripped out a semi-decent older style kitchen, as yeah. you saw in some of the original videos for Quick this series. Tip, if you don't have a kitchen and you're living in a reno zone, barbecue can be your best friend. Crock pot, crock barbecue, pot. toaster oven. Yeah, I think we have the <laughs> crock pot going today even. <laughs> I know, it's just like the little tools that helped us along the way of having nothing. And we literally washed dishes in the bathtub for what, almost eight months before yeah. we had plumbing going because there was never a spot to do things like that. Crazy. And if you think about it, like you almost forget just because we have a few cabinets that we really had no kitchen. And a beautiful sack. Yeah, right. now now we have dreamy space. So nice. let's get it done. Whose idea was this? <laughs> I don't know. Keep all of your phalanges out of the way this time, will you please? Right. No phalange zone. This flooring was much harder to cut with the X-Acto knife, which is I think what part of the issue was in the first place. Yeah. It doesn't I'm trying to remember the exact name of what this flooring was, but it's completely waterproof. So it could literally float in the brook for days and you could pull it out, dry it off, and then use it. It's the best solution if you're doing an old home reno because when you have an older home, it's inevitable you might get leaks, especially while you work through renovations. And we never have to worry if something's gone on the flooring because it always comes up. Did I scare everyone there for a second? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm like closing my eyes and filming at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm cutting and I'm closing my eyes too. Oh like, gosh. Oh, no. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is match the layout of the tiles on the side wall here so that it kind of goes down and then across underneath the wood stove. And then there will be tile on this side of the cabinet here so that we keep that fireproofed as well with the porcelain. I think we, what we need to do next is we're gonna have to move this cabinet and then I can okay, get a next cut the other way around. Straight down and then start trying to Pull it up. Okay. We decided to do the same flooring that we have right now in the kitchen through the entire house. So the whole main floor has the flooring and we have all the flooring here to be able to start flooring upstairs once we're done the kitchen pantry, laundry room renovation. Yeah. But we're really happy that we decided to do flooring all the same matching through the house rather than doing a tile or something on the kitchen floor. Because we did the full wall tile, I think that doing tile on the floor would have definitely not been the right choice. It would have been cold and just not as homey feeling as it feels like having the flooring this way. That one did? That one You're working in a tight enough spot there. <laughs> I left you like the hardest corner to work in ever. Hey, hey Phil, fit in this little three foot by three foot hole and get the flooring up, please. <laughs> with a with a still broken foot. Which, by the way, YouTube family, look, sporting some shoes. He can put his shoe. I flamingo. He, he can. Kinda. Oh, yeah. He's putting a little bit of weight on it and he's been walking around. And 
Huge plus he can put shoes on now because all of the swelling seemingly is down on his foot so he can actually fit his foot into a shoe, which is really nice. Well, that wasn't the easiest task from the kitchen reno. <laughs> we had no problems getting off a lot of the flooring along the perimeter, but along this back part of the tile here, there was the two pieces that were just really stubborn and stuck, but he got all of it off and look at how bad the flooring was underneath. So you, you can tell this is much better, obviously, now that we have flooring. So now we need to mortar and do the tiles underneath and beside the cabinet. That's my job. Go take a break. Walk with me, lead the way I will follow. You hold me up, I no longer feel hollow. We can't help each other through this ever-changing world. Did my marker go all the way up? I used the Crayola and the water just went. <laughs> okay, I will not play and be. There we go, nice straight line with pencil. No Crayola marker on tile. <laughs> Let me carry them until we know what to do. done tiling honestly I I don't mind tiling but just doing this whole wall and then each of the stages it's mixing the mortar and doing that part that I don't love and so it was just nice to get this part done and know that we are now totally protected to be able to start installing the wood stove so we have tile on the side of the cabinets here we have our tile on the floor here behind and on this wall and just for a little bit extra we decided to do a strip of tile down the side of the beam here we are going to kind of disguise this a little bit and kind of put a little bit of an edge on it. So right now it's just rough edge till we get to that point. But I'm so glad this part's done. So now I need to add, wait for it to dry, of course, and then add the white grout to make this look seamless, just like the wall. And then we're on to the next steps. We're literally in the home stretch. I think we probably have two more days of finishing up the small details in this kitchen space. And we can officially call this space completed. Like... I can't even believe it. And of course, we are still finishing up the pantry laundry renovations. So we'll be continuing with that as well. But it's just so nice to know that this space is almost completely done. Thank you for cheering me on. I love you guys. And I will see you tomorrow. Oh, and on Sunday, it was Philip's birthday. So leave a comment down below.
after every dawn.